Hello, this is Pete, your KickServe support guy. This webinar is going to discuss creating an opportunity and then scheduling that opportunity and assigning it to your technician. And then following the opportunity through to a job, you know, winning the estimate, winning, going through a job, to invoicing your customer. So first I start off with uh, Laura Root. She's a, uh, an apartment owner and she has called in for on behalf of her tenant uh, or make in this situation it's uh, Joe Smith but here's her contact information uh, her special instructions and we're going to create an estimate she wants us to go out and give her an estimate on a uh, drain backup so we're going to click on opportunity here and then the green button and create the opportunity so here's the opportunity to clear a drain here's the opportunity number it's for Laura. Here's her the apartment address we're going out to, uh, her phone number, and then here's the opportunity description that we typed in, the general description for the opportunity or estimate. And again, her special instructions for your technician. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, schedule it. So we're going to schedule an estimate. So let's schedule this uh, for 6:30. It's just an estimate. So let's give ourselves or our technician, you know, 15, 30 minutes just to you know get out there and then give the estimate. Again, we want to re reiterate that the uh, tenant is Joe Smith. Um, do not discuss the charges and payment with uh, tenant. Okay, we'll assign this to Bob. And there you go. And what we're going to do is, it's uh, going to be fast, so let's notify Bob. He's out on the road that he has this uh, new estimate to run out to. So we're going to notify him by pressing this button. And when we do that, we will, I'll show you what that looks like on his mobile. Okay, so there to your right is the uh, his iPhone. And this is the text that he would get from you when you, you uh, press notify employee. So they have all the information. This should just give him a notification and a general idea that he's got a new uh, opportunity, which then would uh, have him go to his app. I'll refresh it. So he's had a couple jobs today from 10 to 5 to 6. And here at the bottom, he has his estimate to clear a drain. Uh, he, all he did, this default here is the, the ninja, the green nin, uh, black ninja. That's the screen. These are his scheduled events of his jobs and opportunities. These are not the job. These are the events. Right, these are different than if you were to click on jobs or opportunities down here, which would be the entire job. Okay, so we're here. And he's just going to click anywhere here on this square to take him to his opportunity. So he can see it's to clear a drain, possibly. Here's the opportunity again, description. His, the owner's uh, name, his instructions, her phone number, how to email her, and then his schedule. Okay, we're not gonna use the orange X right now. We're using the, uh, the back arrow here to keep within the opportunity. And so now he's gonna arrive at his destination. 6:30, and he could then uh, assess the situation. Come in here, add some charges. So let's say this is going to be a. Uh, do we have? Let's just say a basic repair. It's not going to be a fixture, but he can write in here what he's going to do to fix this situation. All right, so he puts his item in here, the item's description, what his uh, estimate is, his estimated price for one hour for this, and he's going to click Save in the upper right. Okay, there's your preview of the charge, right? Um, you could have him mark down how long it took him maybe to, to drive out there. Let's say it was 15... Uh, minutes for his, uh, you know, drive time. 
you want to keep track of stuff like that, you could then add to it and say that it took him another, you know, 15 minutes, um, another 15 minutes to assess the problem and write up the estimate. Right. So there you go. We'll click our technician here. There we go. Click save. All right. So you have his time entries. Um, he could take um, some pictures, let's say, of maybe the bathtub where he's going to be working, if that's necessary. All right, you could even share these pictures with your customer and then click uh, the upload. All right, we've marked it shared, so when we send the estimate from the web, uh, your customer will see the picture, right? And so now uh, your technician can discuss these charges over the phone. In this case with Laura, because she's probably not there, or we could have, uh, you could email her by clicking the envelope. But let's just say that uh, she decided, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead with that. So your technician is then going to mark this estimate as one. It's going to make this instantly a job, as you can see here, right? And so what it is now, if you look back on the web, refresh here, so now you can see that your opportunity was one, and now this is a job, and it's unscheduled, okay? So you can have your, your technician do with his schedule over here, is he needs to take his estimate and say, okay, he's completed that estimate part of it and click the green. I slid that to the right, clicking the green, got the check mark now, it's faded. So now he go now he can click the X if he wants to. Comes back here, does a refresh, right? He can see that the estimate that he just did is grayed out as check mark. So now what he needs to do, now he has his job. So now what we need to do be real technical about this. We need to now schedule the job. So we're going to schedule the work right away. Okay, so we got the new time, we got and we got a new description, the new task type or the event type is going to be work. All right, and then we're going to click save. All right, so now it has this new uh, work to do. And so if we're to clear, if we refresh the web page here, you'll see, see now it's scheduled. He also has completed his estimate. See that by the green check mark for his estimate. It took him 15 minutes, and now he has this new job to do. All right, so before your technician gets started, he probably should come back to the job in the mobile app and click Start Job here. And that's going to change your web page as well to in progress and he started the job now he's doing the job when he does the job uh, once he's done with the job he could again add more charges if he wants he can add uh, more of his time to here to show that the work he did okay so there's my notes for my new time entry and I could add this to the as a billable charge if you wanted to, but we've already added the, gave him the estimate. We're going with that. We're still within the hour, so we won't add that to the bill. We're just going to hit save, and we have to make sure we have a technician here. There we go. Clicking save. Okay, so there's a screenshot of our all the hours. Um, should have been actually, you know, uh, a quarter, 0.25 and 0.25. Obviously, wasn't out there for 30 hours. Anyways, there we go. And then what he wants to do is click stop the job. Now, not he doesn't necessarily want to mark the job complete unless he's been instructed to. But what he wants to do for sure is now he's done with his event, and so he wants to go here to schedule. And he wants to make sure that he also completes 
at the end of his job, at least his scheduled event, by sliding to the right and then clicking the green. And now both his estimate, scheduled event, and his work are both done. We come here and we can refresh our web page. And you'll see now that uh, the job is still scheduled, it's still active, but his two events are both green check marked and have this thin gray line through them, which indicates they are marked complete. Plus, you can see the time and date that he marked them complete. Just want to point out down here under our job history, you can see all this action unfold as well. So you can see that he started the job, date and time, he updated the event, and then he stopped the job. You can see that too. See, so you can see his uh, pictures that he uploaded, and you can see all of his notes. We haven't clicked in payment or anything. This is a tenant situation, so we haven't generated an invoice either from here. But what your technician can do from the mobile app is he or she can then generate the invoice and collect a signature. So we click that, changes to view invoice, we can view the invoice, we can get the tenant if you wanted to, to collect a signature while you're out there. And so, Joe could do that for you, saying that he saw that everything was draining, click save, right, there it is, and he could be done, your technician could be done, this could be all now for you to collect from the actual owner, in this case is Laura Root. And so once you collect the invoice, or I'm sorry, the payment from her, you're going to have to physically mark this paid. It's not automated. Uh, we can email her the invoice. We can download it and uh, snail mail it. Um, here is the invoice here. So you can review it with Joe's signature on it. And so it's invoicing or uh, creating the job, send your technician out using the mobile app and communicating with each other from the field and the dispatch office and then invoicing your customer is that easy.